Here we are again. We're just testing. Hello. I'm going to show you number three. Why are you trying to save a dead joke? <laughs> Alright, welcome to another episode of Do You Know What To Do? Today we're going to go ahead and deliver a slipcover. This has a sofa bed that unfortunately the platform of the sofa bed is damaged. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. Yeah. You got the slipcover, right? Yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty bad. That would be very bad. We do have everything, right? Yeah. Set that. Alright. So we're here, we're just about to get started. Exactly. We have a slipcover that we already cut for this uh, sofa bed. Right. That we're going to put on. And you'll see that. But we have a repair. This client had a guest uh, yeah. that was young and, well, I hope so, a little kid jumping up and down and ripped the uh, the platform of, of the uh, sleep sofa where the mattress sits on. Exactly. So we're going to go ahead and fix that real fast. Now here's the problem. This thing had to be cut in half to get in here. It's a very small door over here and uh, it could not come through. So right. we didn't want to, we, you could take the cage out, the sleep sofa, and then go replace it, but that'd be a lot more money than just fixing a patch. Definitely, or a lot putting more. On a patch, putting on a patch, because right. we actually made a patch, which you're going to see in just a few seconds, and we're going to show you how we're going to put that on, because hopefully this will help you solve any problems, just in case if you have this happen, because this tarp material is good, eh. but it's not excellent. I mean, the weave is really loose, so if something yeah. goes wrong, you're toast. Right, because it just starts to unravel. You'll see that kind of you know, stringy and such. Exactly. So as he already said, we made a patch out of that 1,000 denier fabric, and yep. we'll show you that in a minute, and I think the first thing to do is to do the patch. Let's do it. Okay. So what we're doing right now is we're just temporarily fastening this up so we can have something to, to glue. We're going to use fabric glue on this, which is extremely strong. Right. And then maybe we'll run this uh, button twine around the, the edges there, just in a loose fit. Okay. Like if that. you can tie that off, I'll sew this right here, maybe. Okay. All right. Here, let me just, I'll just put in. This is just temporary, by the way. Yeah. We're not leaving this on. No. Yeah, maybe like loop, 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 or I don't know, like maybe one here, one, a couple of big ones maybe. Yeah. All right. Here, scissors. You got scissors? Got my knife. Nice. All right, let's do this. All right, so for the time being, what we did is we're finished. That's the finished product right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that's just a placeholder <laughs> right now. That's quality work. That's man. quality right there, baby. She's going to pay for this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so that's just a placeholder that we have right there. That's all that is. So we um, get the fabric glue down on there. Exactly. The so we what we're going to do right now is you're getting prepared. Sorry for the shaky camera. The tripod's a little hard. Go ahead. So now I'm getting prepared to take the rod out. Obviously, the leather sofa's in the way, so I don't want to hit that and scratch it. Grant, by the way, this thing's being, it, you know, it looks better or more... Uh, flat or taunt when we uh, pull on this end. Okay. Okay, so when we start spreading the glue, we're going to have, you know, maybe we could put some, let's put some strings right here too. All right, sounds good. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to just do this side too, because I want it nice and flat so we can roll on a whole lot of fabric glue. Fabric glue is extremely strong. It is permanent, uh, this type, that the professional uh, glue that we got here. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Excellent. But so I also got to get this rod out. Exactly, so you're going to take some pliers, get that out, and then we're going to go ahead and slather this with some fabric glue, stick it, and pray to God. <laughs> but you know, when I pull this out, though, look, that thing wasn't even attached. Really? It's going to be a lot, lot we're going to find out, because, you know, we've never done this before. Exactly. So when we pull this rod out, this thing might get real wrinkly, maybe that'll pull it back out, I don't know, because see how it's keeping it nice and tight now, but this thing has to come out. Let's see what happens. Eh, not, not too bad. That bad, no. I'll try straighten this wire out. I didn't bring another one, but I think we can still use this one. Excellent. Now I'll go ahead and stitch this. Here. Yeah. Thank you. 
I don't even know why they don't sell these things on. I guess they would rip with so many heavies that's on it. I guess. They just use, if they use canvas, man, this thing would have been fine. Like sailcloth? Yeah. Or whatever we got, the 1,000 denier is fine. So this stupid tart, watch your fingers, sorry, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Ow. Okay, you good with that? I'm good with that. You want to start? I probably bigger. should have done a little bit more here and just wrap it around like three times. You don't need to do more than that. That thing should not be coming off. Okay, so this is what we made back at the shop. This is the uh, patch here. Right. And basically, I just went out to this measurement here and here, okay, and uh, that was 53 and a half. And then I made it where it was three inches long, or um, an inch and a half longer here, an inch and a half longer, and then three did three quarter inch folds over. Is all I did. All right, and then now um, I got to run the rod through here, and we're going to. Oh, I'm sorry, I got it backwards. We're going to run the rod down here, and um, then put the springs in. So the rod's out of the sofa bed, and we're going to put it inside here. Right, so just, and we just tie it off the sides real fast, if you don't mind jumping in. Mm -hmm. We tie it off the sides to make it as uh, tight as possible so it's easier to apply the fabric glue and you get even contact all the way oh, around. Oh, tied off these you're talking about? Exactly. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I thought you were still talking about this here. No, uh, my fault. So this is folded up here. I, I sewed it three times for strength and we got to be at 22 and a half, which is, well actually we really don't. We're just going to have to let this run out. It was 22 and a half. To, uh, to this point as we decide to go past this stitch part here. Exactly. Okay, so let's just get this thing glued. Let me get this rod in here. It's gonna hang out a little bit longer because I wish it was a little longer, but that's okay. Okay, so obviously that slides quite well in there. And I reinforced it as I said. I think there's uh, three, three times here. I did like six inches longer and then fold it on top of itself. All right, perfect, so it shouldn't rip. In fact, the old ones right here, if you don't mind moving that up just a little bit so we can see the old ones, the old ones this started here? fraying a lot. So you can start seeing the damage that was caused, the fraying, and also where the old springs were actually hooked, mm -hmm. the uh, actual tarp is fraying as well. So. Yeah, it's cheap. It's just, if they would have used canvas or they would have used canvas or 1,000 denier like this is, uh, sailcloth, they, they, they would have been fine. It lasts for years. They use this cheap junk that just constantly tears and so if you're having this problem this might be a way that you could uh, replace it just for a patch, a repair. Exactly. You could take all this off but it does have rivets up here that would need to be drilled out. We thought about that point and just put new rivets back in and then make a whole new cover. Which would, but then, you know what, I think she wouldn't want to spend the money that it's going to take to do that but you being a DIYer then you can do it yourself. Uh, it would be very simple. Um, so that, that, that's definitely an option. So let's get this thing glued and um, see if we get the springs on there and see how, see how she looks. Yeah. One thing we gotta be careful about, in fact, I'm gonna get us a wet rag now, we cannot touch the top. Okay. So we gotta wipe our gloves off before. So go ahead and lay it on pretty thick. And don't touch the, uh, the bed either, okay? Okay because it'll be on there and it'll look terrible. It smells like Elmer's glue, man. It probably is Elmer's glue, man. All right, so we got all the glue on both the actual platform of the bed for the sleep sofa and also the patch that we put on there. Now we got a lot of glue on there, so it's gonna take a long time for this stuff to dry. So in the meantime, because we're not gonna be spending the night here, we're gonna go ahead and take this bun twine, which is the strongest thread that we have, and sew around the outer edge of the actual patch to make sure it stays there. So we can still put on the slip covers because we still have to do that. And also it allows it to dry while we put on the springs as well. Exactly. Oh yeah!
Okay, we just put on the last spring here. We had to take this back off, the stitching. Uh, we left this one on. We started on this one until we realized that this had shifted some. The, the glue was not uh, set yet. Um, and, or we didn't get it lined up straight enough anyhow, because what was happening, it was sagging a little bit here and then not here. So what we decided would be best, actually, if you don't mind jumping in, yeah, is that we went ahead and stitched the top right there where my dad's hands are. Right here? Um, no, where you were hands right were. Right up here? Yep, exactly. So we right went here. ahead and stitched right there and then stitched on the front and also on the sides as well. <laughs> You didn't like that too much? I thought it was funny. No, I did hear it. It was funny. All right. Yeah, like, yeah, I was working. You weren't. <laughs> so that's it. So now it's lined up. It's not sagging as much here. I mean, it's equally sagging. The whole thing's a sagger. <laughs> so it's fine. All right. Okay, so that should be okay. Now that glue is going to take about five years to set up. Exactly. It's going to take a little while. Well, you know, this is waterproof. Yeah, that's true. You know, so for air to get in there, it's going to be difficult. So... We're going to cut these little frays off here. The tension is the same all the way around. Um, that's it. So it's a trial and error. We've never done it before until this time, but we know this is going to last. It'll guarantee to last. Definitely. Um, I'm just going to cut the frays off, and then we're going to put the slipcover on. Yep. And then we're going to show you with the slipcover on. All right, so we have the furniture on its back because unfortunately we still have to put on the Velcro for the slipcover. We're going to bring it all the way up to the front and not pass the legs, correct? Oh, say again? Yeah, not past the legs. Not yeah. past the legs. So do we even have to take the legs off? Well, I got to get the subcovers longer. Got it. So I'm going to put it up underneath the legs. I already told her. It's too close to the ground. Uh, sleep sofas slide a lot. So when they would sit, the kids and such, and move around, then it would come straight up, meaning she didn't want a kick pleat or a tailored skirt. Right. It just came straight down. But the, the leg itself is only like an inch and a half. It's about an inch and a half. So it's going to slide. She's going to see the red. Okay. So I gave her the option that she can put some Velcro on the bottom. We don't have much wood to attach to. That is the problem. So I'm hoping the front, you know, it's going to be hanging right on the, on the edge. Right. Meaning the slip cover. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I do. So, and then underneath here, you don't want to put the Velcro underneath here because it's going to be too thick underneath the leg. And we got to put the leg back on with the screws. Right. So we're going to skip the Velcro, but still tuck the slip cover underneath the leg. So it stays there, right? Right, and put the screw. So she, if she needs to take this off, she's got to take the legs off. I already told her that. She said she was fine with it. Okay. So pretty simple. Let's just go ahead and get this done. Yeah. Mm, nice and tight. Mm-hmm. Thanks for holding that, man. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Nice. Okay, so we're all finished. We yeah. just put on the slip cover and it looks great. Now it really there's a, does. There's a zipper access for the, the sleep sofa bed. Simply take off the seat cushions and the back cushions. You can do this with ties too, if you'd like, or okay. Velcro. Yeah, you like can do it with ties you or Velcro. Can do like snaps too, maybe? If you want, yeah. If you want to do snaps, ties, Velcro, it doesn't make a difference. We use zippers. Take off the seat cushion, take off the back cushions, zip open the, the bed access. There's a little flap that falls down on the floor, and then you just pull the bed out and your guests stay. Or maybe if you got kicked out of the room, then you stay there. <laughs> that so. You're in the doghouse, you stay. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So we got the slip cover on, obviously. We got the Velcro on. on the bottom. For the bottom. We also got the legs holding it on the corner of the slip covers. Or the slip right. cover. There's only one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, we know what you meant. Definitely. And the legs came too much forward. That's why they weren't recessed from the front. Right. Here's a front recess to the back. We could do velcro there exactly but they were right on the edge they're right on the edge so we just mm -hmm. uh put it underneath screw that on put on the slip cover everything looks good and we're ready to go yeah we're gonna call down the client i know she's gonna love it we're gonna pack up and we'll be right back oh yeah okay so we're done we're done she was very happy oh yeah she was very thrilled um we didn't put her on film because we didn't ask her to to do that in the beginning no you don't want to shock anybody like that <laughs> yeah it's like hey you're on camera yeah smile you sure you want to wear that no. that's funny <laughs> get out yeah. oh dang so she's very happy we hope you enjoyed it and if you yeah. have this problem with uh sleep sofa then you can just do exactly what we did rather than replacing the whole cage yeah i mean it's a really simple we didn't show you guys the slipcover cover because you already had the slip cover video we can link it to you as well so you can see that one Please we also do. have the one for the outdoor slipcover if you're interested in that as well yep. so 
If Great. you have that problem, now you know what to do. Definitely. Give us a thumbs up. We appreciate you watching. And please share it with a friend if they have this problem or maybe they just uh, would like to see our channel. There's something we could help them with. Definitely. Don't forget to subscribe and also leave us a comment if you have any questions. We're still doing Save My Assets. It's been a little while, but we're catching up. We're trying to keep up. So listen, keep the stuff out of the landfill and keep using it as long as you can. Definitely. We'll see you next time. <laughs> I love how whenever you laugh, it's like a like a smirk. Like you know, I know I'm not doing what's right. Who me? Yeah, it happens. Yeah, <laughs> you're like yeah. I've been that way since I was a kid, man. You hear a little smirk in the background. And the teacher's like, "Paul." She was. They, I got in trouble all the time. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. It wasn't worth it. Cutting slip covers. That's right. <laughs> See what happens to you, son? That's right. You start cracking jokes, you're gonna start cutting uh, cutting slip covers. What? Hello? Right. McFly! That's okay. <laughs>